programming language tier list. Which is going to come out on top? I'm Daniel, and let's get right into it. So first things first, just want to say that this is my personal opinion based on what I think are some factors like whether the language is in demand for jobs, what the user experience is like using it, my personal vibe with the language. So getting right into it, let's start with JavaScript. So I think JavaScript is pretty good at some things, but lacking in others. But even though it's not perfect, I'm going to put it in A. So JavaScript, as we know, is used for web and app development. It consistently ranks as among the highest, or at least among one of the highest ranking in demand languages that people want um, that people want their employees to know right now. So it's just not super well designed. I think there are some things that are kind of archaic about the language and not super user friendly. But even though that's true, I think I think the fact that it's as in demand as it is, makes it tier A for me personally. And I don't think it's like horrible to use personally. All right, getting into the next one, we have SQL. So SQL is awesome. You know, structured query language, super good for managing databases and data. But I think that the fact that it focuses very much on that means that it isn't as much of a general use programming language as others. For that reason, I'm going to put it in B. Definitely super good. It's just, it's kind of limited in what it what it can do. I think it is also in demand. So that's, that's something that keeps it higher. But the fact that, yeah, it's not super general purpose for me, I think keeps it at B. Okay, Python. Python's cool because it's really, I don't want to say really easy to learn, but it's easy to learn. And I think there's so many great things about how it's so versatile and you can really code pretty much anything you can think of to, of course, to limitations with Python and the fact that it integrates really well with so many open source libraries. Like for me, I have more personal experience with data science libraries like Pandas, sklearn, uh, NumPy, more so than other libraries, but still like there's so many just within a certain niche that support the language really well. And Python happens to be one of the most in-demand languages by far right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in S tier. I really like it. Great for beginners, great for advanced users, super supportive community. So definitely goes in S tier for me personally. Next up we have Java. So let me go ahead and fix this real quick. Java is a super good object oriented programming language. And there's a lot to like about Java. I think it's also super highly in demand. For me personally, I like Python. But well, okay, what I was gonna say is I personally like another old, uh, old or older object oriented programming language better than Python. So I'm gonna leave that one for S tier and I'm gonna put Java in A tier. So again, my personal opinion, your tier list might look completely different. That's totally chill. Let's get into the next one. This one's cheating a little bit because HTML and CSS are not programming languages. They're actually markdown languages or markup languages. But I wanted to include it here just because uh, my tier list is also incorporating just other ways of coding up different things that just I think is relevant enough to keep it in the video. So that said, yeah, HTML, CSS, really good because it's super easy to learn. As you, as we might know, HTML is really for getting like the body of a web page. CSS is all about styling. So HTML stands for hypertext markup language. CSS is cascading style sheets. So both of those combined allow you to create cool stylized web pages. And then of course with JavaScript, you can make them interactive. So super easy to learn in demand, but it's not nearly as versatile as the programming languages on this list, but the fact that it's so easy and in demand puts it in B for me personally. Okay, this one might be a little bit more obscure than some of the other ones. So I've used Lua and I originally wanted to create basically like a small video game for my CS50 final project and 
I really got into it. I was like, okay, looking up all the documentation for Lua, trying to create some sort of fun 2D video game. But then I realized that Lua just is not that amazing, at least in my opinion. Lua isn't terrible. It's just kind of weird. The way that it does, like the way that you have to code up things where if you just want something basic, like a ball to bounce, you have to set up a few things in like a way that I thought was kind of strange. So I didn't enjoy the experience. So I moved on to another final project for CS50. That said, I'm glad I got the experience in Lua. But the fact that it's just kind of odd to me makes it go in C tier for me personally. Okay, moving on to Bash. Bash is interesting because it's a little bit different in that it's sort of a command line language for doing a few different things. For example, using Git and uploading to GitLab or just doing other random stuff. It's important and it helps understand command line arguments and great for cloud computing. But yeah, it's it's not like super crazy, like amazing. So I'm going to put it in... I'm going to put it... Hmm, I was debating between B and C. For me personally, I'm going to put it in C just because like I don't like love coding or I mean I don't love using bash but it's just one of those things that's definitely worth knowing and useful so but yeah goes and see for me personally okay moving on to some other stuff we have c sharp c sharp is really cool because it's awesome for our game development you can combine it with engines like unity to create a cool 2d or even 3d video game c sharp is also used for developing applications like mobile apps so I don't have a ton of personal experience with C-sharp, admittedly, but I think it is cool. I think it goes in A tier, solid choice. And I think there's a number of people who would say it's their favorite, which is great. PHP. So PHP is good for web development. I think it's just not as in vogue as JavaScript is right now. So PHP, I think it's just one of those things where it'll never lose all its demand, but it's not nearly as in demand, I think, as something like JavaScript for web development. And I think for that and other reasons, I'm gonna put it in B tier. A good solid language, but not the most fun to use and not as popular or not as in demand, I, I think, as, as others. Okay, C. C is old, but good. It's an oldie, but goodie. Despite being old, C is just very powerful and it's really good for high performance use cases. I think there are some things that keep it from being an S tier though, like it's still really good, but I think that the complexity and the troubles that can occur in C can increase as a project scales. And there, I think this is a testament to the fact that it just is an older language, which is totally fine. And, but some of those things are just not, not super, super easy, super intuitive to fix easily. So for those reasons, I'm going to put C in A tier. Really good. Um, but yeah, just a few things keep it from being S tier. Okay. C++ on the other hand, I think takes all the great things about C and makes it even a little bit better. And if you're watching this, you probably know, but one of the funny things about the name C++ is that plus plus is basically like an iterator where it'll add one to whatever variable you have. So C++ literally means adding one thing to C, but that one thing was not insignificant. That one thing was object oriented programming. And the fact that C++ has that while fixing some of the issues with C just makes it like ridiculously good, I think. It's used for games, used for high performance applications. And I personally have a lot of fun coding in C++. I think it's a great language to use, really fun. And kind of like Python, but even a little bit better in the sense that if you have an idea for something, you can probably create it in C++. If you really put in the work, you can really do whatever you want. So I'm gonna put it in S tier along with Python. Oh. Let me move it back. Okay. 
So our penultimate one, MATLAB. MATLAB is cool and it's good at what it does. One thing that I think is not like, I'm not a huge fan of MATLAB is that it's a proprietary, uh, proprietary language. So you actually need to pay to use it or have like a student license or something. It is really good for specific stuff for doing mathematical com computing. So it, it is good. Like there's a reason people use it. I'm just not like the biggest fan of it. And whenever I code in MATLAB, I'm not like, whoa, like I'm having so much fun. Um, sometimes it can be cool. And I do like math, so it can be cool to see like the symbolic representation of mathematical computing done in MATLAB. But yeah, overall, I think it's just, it's it's cool, but it's not like amazing, but it's not bad. So I'm gonna put it in B tier. Oh, again, let's move it back. All right, last but not least, we have R. And for me, I actually started my programming journey with R without really realizing it. So when I was a biology student, I took some ecology courses where we had to use R to do statistical calculations. I also had a biostatistics course where we did that a lot. And without even realizing, I got into learning how to do different statistical computations using R. So R is the language and we used R Studio as the IDE to, to use R. So I think R is actually really good I think it's really the best at what it does, but the I think the only thing is that it's not it's it's kind of limited. It's not like a super general purpose language that in my experience. And uh, but yeah, it is really good at what it does. And I will say it's not super easy to learn. It's not hard to learn. I think other languages on this tier list are harder to learn. But it's not like, "Oh man, this is just so easy," you know. So that's one thing that I think keeps it from being uh, super high but it's well documented and if you need to do statistical stuff definitely use R I, I think so I'm going to put it in B and I think that's great I hesitated because I was like one cool thing about this is that, yeah I do have that nostalgia factor of it being my first coding language ever but I think B is solid for it so let's yeah I think that's a great list right there i can go ahead and zoom in a little bit but you know what i'm i'm pretty happy with how this looks really so we have just to recap oh so we have python and c plus plus and s tier i think that's good let me see if i want to move anything else around down here or abc no i think i think it's pretty oh actually okay just because I'm looking at it, me personally, wow, me personally, I am going to move MATLAB down to C. It is it is really good, but I just don't, it's, it, I think some of the other ones are better. And Lua, I think since we don't have a D, any, anything in D tier, I'll, I'll go ahead and move it down to, to D. I'm not hating on Lua, it's just I don't super love it. So, okay, that's the final tier list right there. Hope you had fun watching. Let me know what you think. Again, this is a subjective. So if you have, if you think Lua's S tier, if you think Python's D tier, let me know in the comments. All right. Awesome. Thanks for watching.